So new code rules for today. And, and again, like I said at the beginning of the uh, hour that uh, I'm going to be picking on conferences again, American for-profit uh, conferences are taking advantage of speakers, right? And uh, before you say, well, Dave, you're just saying this because they're they're not accepting your sessions. I've given up on American conferences anyway. So, but what I'm why I'm saying this is because uh, I'm trying to watch out for you guys. You know, some of the American conferences that have been announced for 2021, um, Devin section and BS Live, you know, are charging you know, you know, anywhere from you know two thousand to over three thousand dollars to attend a, a conference, and it's not even a whole week. I don't think it's a lot of money. You know, these um, you know, these companies um are taking in millions of dollars per conference, right? Um, they're, they're a big business in America and other countries too, but I'm picking on American conferences because I don't see foreign conferences doing this at this point. I, I, looked, I looked at a couple of foreign conferences. And so I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the American conferences. But, you know, even in the past, you know, they haven't really <laughs> especially paid the speakers uh, uh, what they're worth. That's for sure. The last time that I spoke at a big American conference was six years ago, and I only got $500 for speaking, which I think I calculated to be $2 an hour for my work on that presentation. Uh, so um, this has been happening, but you know, now after pandemic, it seems like things are worse. And so uh, let me say why they're worse. They are not offering at all, no American conferences, um, reimbursement for travel and a re or a speaking fee at all. So even the $500, which was pennies really, and not even getting that anymore. They're taking in a lot of money and they're not certainly uh, giving any of, none of it back to the speakers, that's for sure. And uh, that's not a good thing in, in my book. I think this, this way of doing it and, and America, like I said, American conferences have been, you know, not taking care of speakers for a long time. Maybe that's why I really love speaking in other countries because they do take care of the speakers, but not here. You know, even when I started seeing this, when the conferences started uh, putting up calls for papers, I feared this. My fear is that these conferences are going to be full of CEOs, CIOs, vice presidents, project managers. If you go look at like VS Live and uh, Dev, Dev Intersection, that's exactly who they are pretty much. And not saying these aren't great people to listen to. I've listened to a lot. I've gone to a lot of conferences, had some really great talks, you know, from people like this. I, I still remember back in the 90s when, you know, there's uh, Bill Gates didn't couldn't come to a conference I was at and they sent the guy who ran uh, Microsoft Word back then. And I thought he had the best session of the conference. You know, the reason, you know, we're getting these type of speakers is because they're going there to sell or market something to you. I'm not sure that's a great idea uh, for the majority of the speakers to be this way at a conference. Because me personally, and you can let me know what you think by uh, putting something in the chat or tweeting at me, I prefer hearing spe uh, speakers that are just like you and me. We live in the coding trenches every day and we're solving really hard problems every day. And, um, and me personally, that's who I like to hear from mostly at these conferences, really hardcore technical uh, sessions by people just like you and me. If, if you want this to change, uh, conferences don't listen to me because I've already bitched at them and they don't listen to me, Donna Dave but they will listen to you because you're the ones going to pay $3,000 to go to a conference. So email conferences demand that they pay for travel and, and give big speaking fees to speakers so you can get a better variety of speakers. Um, this, these are the great conferences to go to is a wide variety of speakers. And so in the meantime, at least in America, again, like I said last week, uh, search out local community conferences because most of the speakers at local community conferences are people just like you and me. Yeah, they might not be as polished and as fancy as, you know, listening to Scott Guthrie or somebody like that. But, you know, they're they're not only run by people like you and me, but the speakers are just like you and me for the most part. So there's my uh, new code rules for this week.